How to use the Fire HD 10 tablet. The Fire HD 10 tablet can be controlled using your voice via its cloud-based voice assistant, Alexa. You can say things like, Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 34 degrees. Alexa, play music. Here's a mix for you on Amazon Music. Alexa, show me movies. Here you go. Alexa, call dad. Sure. Alexa, I need a recipe for spaghetti sauce. Finding some spaghetti sauce recipes. Okay, for spaghetti sauce, here's a few recipes. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.29 p.m. Alexa, start a five-minute timer. Five minutes, starting now. Alexa, open the Prime Video app. Here are videos. Alexa, how far away is the moon? The moon is 249,200 miles away from Earth. Alexa works great on this tablet. You'll find her to be quite helpful. The Fire HD 10 can also be controlled using your fingers. The first thing you might want to do is go to the App Store to install some new apps. So I'll tap the App Store icon on the home screen. This launches and opens the App Store app. You can search by categories, or if you know what you want, you can tap the search icon and type what you are looking for. I'll spell Hulu. It's at the top of the list. I'll tap it, and then I'll tap the download button. It will install the Hulu app. Then I can tap open if I want to launch it. But I want to keep looking for apps, so I'll tap search again and start to type YouTube. It's at the top of the list, so I'll tap it, and then tap get. Then I'll tap download to install it. To get out of an app, like the App Store app, I'll use the three buttons at the bottom of the screen. The first triangle button is the back button. If I tap it, I'll go back one page in the app. The next button, the circle, is the button that will get me back to the home screen. I'll tap it. You'll notice that I'm on the home screen because home is in orange and it's underlined. I can swipe to a different tab or screen by swiping my finger across the screen left or right. Or, I can tap on the name of the screen I want. For example, I'll tap Library. There, you'll see a list of books and apps that are available to me. I'll tap Home to go back to the home screen. You'll see we have an email app where we can send and receive emails from our tablet. I'll tap the circle button to go back to the home screen. There's a camera app for taking pictures and videos. I can allow my camera to access this device's location if I want to. I'll tap the circle button to go back home. Now I'll demonstrate the square button. If you tap it, it's a way to bring up all of your opened or recent apps. You'll see the camera app first because it was the last app that we had opened. I can tap it to get back into the camera app, or I can swipe up the screen to close it. Then I can swipe up to close the email app as well. I can do the same with the App Store app, if I want to close that too. If I tap the Square or Recent App button again, the tablet will tell us that we don't have any recent apps because we just closed them all. I'll press the circle button to go back to the home screen. If you want to adjust tablet settings, there's a settings app. Let's tap it. You'll see internet, Bluetooth, battery strength, Alexa settings, etc. If I go down to display, for example, I can adjust the display's brightness. A brighter display will wear out the battery faster, by the way. I'll tap the back triangle button a few times to get back to our home screen. If I swipe down from the top of the screen, you can get to a list of notifications if you have any. 
and also to some quick settings controls that you can easily enable or disable. I'll swipe down again to show even more options. The first one is Wi-Fi, to turn Wi-Fi on or off. The second one is Bluetooth, to turn it on or off. The third one is Airplane Mode, for when you want to use your tablet on a flight. Next we have Blue Shade. This filters out the blue light emitting from the screen. As I understand it, it's helpful to reduce eye strain, especially before bedtime. After that, we have Alexa hands-free. If we have this enabled, we can talk to Alexa even if our screen is locked. If we have this off, we'll have to unlock our home screen to use Alexa. Next, we have auto-rotate if we do or do not want our screen to automatically change its orientation when you rotate the tablet vertically or horizontally. Then we have Do Not Disturb. It keeps calls and messages from disturbing you. Next, we have Low Power Mode for extending battery life when your battery level is low. Finally, we have Storage for freeing up space on your tablet by archiving items that have not been recently used. You'll also notice an adjustment slider that will allow you to change your screen's brightness by moving it right and left with your finger. I'll swipe up to close these controls. You'll notice on the home screen we have an app for browsing the internet. I will search cooking turkey, for example. Because this is a touch screen, I can always use my finger to scroll up or down on the screen. I can tap the back button to get back to the search bar. I'll press the circle to go back to the home screen. There's a photos app to view and share your photos. I don't have any yet, so I'll press the circle home button. I can launch the YouTube app to watch videos. You'll notice on the upper right hand side of the screen, you'll see some indicators. The first one lets you know if you are connected to Wi-Fi. The second indicates the amount of battery power that you have left. In the upper left corner, you'll notice the time. I would also like to mention that there's a search bar on the home screen for searching the web in your tablet. Just tap it and type in what you are looking for. Quite helpful. At the bottom left hand side of the screen is an icon that looks like a house. If you tap it, you'll open the device dashboard. I don't have any devices, but you could add devices that you can control from your tablet like lights, thermostats, and cameras for example. I'll press the home button to get out of this screen. To power off the tablet, simply press the power button on the side of the tablet. You'll get three options, power off, restart, or screenshot for taking a picture of the screen. I'll tap power off to shut down the tablet. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.